Hi everyone, Matteo here. In this video, I want to talk about this tool and why its application with MochaPod can be very important. This is called WDT Distribution Tool. In coffee making, WDT stands for Waste Distribution Technique, which is a method used to evenly distribute the coffee grounds in the espresso portafilter basket before tamping. The purpose of this technique is to ensure a consistent extraction and prevent channeling. So the WDT Distribution Tool is a specialized tool designed to help with this technique. It typically consists of a metal or plastic cylinder with small pins or spoke on the bottom that can be used to steer the coffee grounds in the portafilter basket and create a more even distribution. You can find WDT distribution tools online. There are plenty of them. Right now, I'm not suggesting any in particular. Uh, if you already have one, you can use that. And maybe in the future, I can collect a few of them and see which one I can suggest for mocha. Now, we can certainly apply this technique when using a mocha pot uh, for the same purpose. And that's why I'm making this video. The main difference between distributing the coffee grounds with a blaze distribution technique and without is the level of consistency and evenness in the extraction. When distributing the coffee grounds in the basket without the use of a WDD tool, it's possible to end up with clumps or uneven distribution in the basket. This can lead to areas of over-extraction and under-extraction, resulting in an inconsistent flavor and quality of the brewed coffee. On the other hand, when using a WDD tool to distribute the coffee, the technique helps to break up uh, any clumps and distribute the coffee more evenly throughout the basket. This can help to promote a more consistent extraction and prevent areas of under-extraction or over-extraction. As a result, the brewed coffee can have a more balanced and flavorful taste. Another benefit of using a WDT tool is that it can help to prevent channeling. Channeling occurs when water flows through parts of least resistance uh, in the coffee grounds, which can lead to uneven extraction and a weaker and astringent taste. By evenly distributing the grounds, the WDT technique can help to prevent channeling and promote a more even extraction. Overall, while it's possible to distribute coffee grounds without a WDD tool, using one can help to achieve a more consistent and flavorful cup of coffee. Okay, now I'll show you how I use it. Okay, start to place the coffee ground in the basket with the help of a teaspoon. Always remember to place the basket on something to make it steady. Take the WDD tool and gently stir the coffee grounds in the basket, making sure to break up any clumps and distribute the grounds evenly. Okay, when you use this tool, uh, you notice that the volume of the coffee in the basket increases. This can create a bit of a mess at the beginning, but it's fine. Uh, with some practice, we will be more clean. You can also use a portafilter ring, uh, like I usually do, to keep the grounds inside the basket. Once you finish the distribute, uh, tap the basket on the table surface to pack the coffee bed. Now, you have a nice, well-distributed pack. Then you just need to finish assembling your mocha pot like you usually do, uh, wait for the coffee to come out, and finally enjoy your cup of coffee. The result that I get when I use this technique is a well-balanced coffee with a better quality of aftertaste and sweetness. I think this can be a nice way to improve your mocha pot routine. Using the base distribution technique can also be helpful when you are using a low-budget coffee grinder. In fact, this technique can be particularly useful when using a less consistent grinder, as it can help to compensate for any unevenness in the grind. Low-budget grinders can produce a wide range of particle size distribution, which can result in an um, uneven extraction and an inconsistent taste. So, by using the WDT technique, you can achieve a more uniform extraction and a more consistent taste. However, it's worth uh, noting that uh, using a WDT tool can improve the consistency of your coffee, but the quality of your grinder still plays a significant role in the overall quality of your brew. A low budget grinder can limit the potential for achieving a high quality extraction. In other words, while using a WDT tool can help, it's still important to use the best grinder that you can afford to produce the most consistent and high quality coffee grounds. Let me know what you think about this technique or your feedback in case you already tried to use a WDT tool with mocha pot. 
you can just drop a comment in the section below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you uh, in my next videos. And in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day and delicious coffee. Ciao.